Hello everybody, anxiously waiting to see if it sinks or swims. Uh, this is the Kennex retrofit in the Marathon Marina and Boatyard, and um, oh, that makes you nervous when the boat goes around and around like that. But it's going to lift, they're going nice and slow. A lot of weight. Turn that puppy. A lot of wind, a lot of freeboard. Okay. There you go, you want to get it all, okay? And this is Michael, and I got a sneaky feeling he could be just about as nervous as I am. Because <laughs> we're it's watching his baby, pit. it's a tight it's pit. A tight yeah, pit. This, now the basin is going to be increased to 24, 25 feet in the next six months. When we came in here, it was super tight, and I didn't take any videos, but I'm taking videos of watching that thing go down, and I'll tell you what, it is tight. See what I'm talking about? This is a high tide operation. What the? What's the what's the beam of the boat? What's 20 the 20 foot beam. 20 foot even. I told you we got 20 and a half. That's it. And this is 20 and a half. Mine's 20 and this is 20. This is 20 yeah. and a half though. Are you sure you took this boat out of here? Yeah, oh, I you know. You got lots of room. Three inches on the side? <laughs> That's why they got the straps to keep me off the concrete. When you paint it, you're going to be then. Hey, after this bottom job painted, then Michael will be nervous. <laughs> Don't scratch my paint. Look at that windmill. Look at that windmill turning up there in the wind. Yeah, right. You'll be able to see that from docks away. That's perfect. Well, Jay's baby is in the water. He has given birth. So far, it's all laughs. We'll see if it stays that way. Water line's the same. That's the word. Jay is going to walk, mark the water line of the boat. Dave, Dave. Yes, sir. There's a level in there someplace. Trying to get level. as many chubby people on the boat it looks as like, possible. It looks like, <laughs> see, like it's going to make a difference. are on the keel. So when we put it down here to check the water line, we are noticing that it is going just a little bit nose forward. So I'm going to mark the water line appropriately, which means we can put additional weight in the back when needed for stores and things like that. But it does look like about a half an inch 
Do you have a tape measure? I need a tape measure. Do you have a pipe? Do you have a pipe wrench? I need a tape measure. Do you have a pipe wrench? To tighten the stuffing box. That's what I thought. Okay, Dave. What it's doing is leaning forward. But you got to help in these cabins. It's not much. Right. We don't have any people. You know, there's no clear. people, there's no uh, wood, five, there's no uh, five, there's no there's no storage, there's nothing. This so it's, it's is right. a good boat. Yeah. yeah, okay, so the Kenix 380 came in at 15,000 pounds into the yard. It's now 18,000 pounds, and we notice that the water line is not changing at all. Right. So what that says is electric propulsion does not affect the characteristic of a sailing vessel except for to improve it. Yeah. All right. Are you gonna quit talking? Are we gonna yeah. Get one here? <laughs> right, okay. I'm not pointing fingers. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, I, we, I think we, we learned that from Mom. Uh, but one thing is true. We need Mr. to talk to this. Uh, but camera, Mr. Dave Tanner, if he came up with a step ladder, it'd stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have an upper and lower. Jay, okay, aren't you doing the front of the boat? Yeah. Good. Have we got another dock line? Come on, come on down there. Yeah. Where's your other dock, dock line? line? Oh, Oops. We need a dock line. Yeah, yeah dock we line. need to tie it off. We have all dock lines in the forward lock. Here we go. In the water line, line. and it's not, put it's still balanced. We're gonna use for Very surprising. Gonna be a long one. It turns out by all that weight redistribution, it had yeah, no effect on. on how the boat sits in the water. It's still sitting level. We're very, very pleased about that. Where are you going, Michael? I'm going on this side. We'll do that. Alright. So Jay, what are you fixing to do now? We're fixing to tie the boat. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, tie the lines of the boat, the dock lines, to the uh, uh, to the cleats, and make sure that the boat stays in place because we're getting ready to wind up the electric motors. And we want to stay put while we try to fly, but we're not really going to fly. One more dock line. Got it. On your way. Where's it going? Uh, this gives you an, this gives you an indication of uh, the noise level that we will hear on a constant basis with electric propulsion. It is now almost at uh, we're not even at uh, partial throttle, and you can see the you can see the water moving, and you can see uh, you can see how much that's doing. He's not even half throttle. So Dave, what, what's your diagnosis? What's going on? How many amps are we? We are drawing uh, 28 and 28. Uh, well, actually, this one's not going up quite as far because it's close over there. We're not moving. Um, Diana, Diana, could you help her? Yes, it's very close. My wife would agree with that. And. Uh, How's that? <laughs> so the uh, um, it's it's putting out all the torque that uh, uh, it should. Um, we'll get it. We'll actually do a final tune on it once it's in the open water. Tied to the docks, props can only go so fast because they're they're. they're job is dual duty. It's sucking the water and pushing it. Once the boat gets moving, the speed of the boat helps the props to go to a faster level and helps the motors go faster. Bring your port engine back up like the other one we just... Let me see my... Dana. Dana, see where we're at? got to come visit us, huh? Hi. What do you think, Bruce? Look it works. Boat. Hey, Bruce, yeah. look at the water line of the boat. I was noticing as I came up, you're up this far. Excellent.
Okay, nearly six inches. And we put more weight in it. You put more weight in. We put more weight in the Kinex. We do have more weight. We have, we went from 15,000 to 18,000. Okay, but yet we're further out of the water. And of course we don't have everything in it. Yeah. Because you need it. You know, you have a man overboard. You can have full sail up on this boat. You can stop this boat with full sail on a beam reach. In four boat lengths. Yes. With these electric boats. <laughs> that went too easy. Because once once you get on the boat, they're on, they're always on, they're always ready to go. And yeah. if you need something, it's there, right now. And motor sailing, which a lot of people do, including Bruce, and with a motor sailing, when you have your sails up, you already have the benefits of regeneration with the water, with the uh, sail, with the boat going through it. So you're losing maybe a half a knot, but when you push them forward, you're using additional energy, but you're still motoring and sailing with no noise. You don't have any banging diesels going on while you're doing it. Yeah. People can sleep and you can motor sail. Yeah, I'm gonna miss It'll be the diesel fuel. <laughs> You know, I did too a little bit at first. The sulfur smell. You know, it kind of a little headache from the diesel. A little headache from the pounding of the diesel. It kind of kept the testosterone level up high. You know, and the backing up and all the diesel. What we're going to start doing is we're going to provide a boom box with the system that'll give you some kind of pounding, nasty noise, and then we have a little pump spray for sulfur. <laughs> So that you can get that you can get that feeling back if you really want it. <laughs> Good. Rotten eggs from where eggs. No, it's really nice when you're running with the wind and you get the diesel coming into the cockpit. Oh, everybody over the back into the cockpit. Yeah. I love that. And, and and I and I also like the uh, when you're anchoring and you're backing up and trying to lock the anchor in and everybody's on the boat wanting to go diving and they decide to go to the side and just chuck it away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're not leaking. Okay, well, I mean, you're good to go. Well, the boat doesn't leak, and uh, we're getting ready to take it out of the water. And the serious work begins today. Uh, painting, actually sanding, and sanding, and painting. So, wish us luck, and we'll get this boat, or should I say, yacht, catamaran all pretty and beautiful wasn't much of a maiden voyage but it sure is quiet